Hello everyone, my name is Azatru, how are you? And welcome to another Star Wars Battlefront 2 mod showcase video, and it is the top 5 mods of the week, episode 112, and I've got 5 really cool mods to share with you this week, plus a couple of honourable mentions. Now before we do take a look at this week's mods, I just wanted to answer a question so many of you have been asking me over the past few days, and rightly so. So, we know Battlefront 2 is not going to be getting future content updates, but that doesn't mean I'm going to be stopping top 5 mods of the week. I know a lot of you may have thought I would be stopping this because there is no new content, but mods are just going to keep getting better, the modding community is going to keep on going, and I'm not stopping. Things are going to resume as normal, I'm just going to keep on going and making Battlefront 2 videos I love to make for you guys. Let's now move on to the results of the votes you participated in last week. So, out of 4,200 people, the Commander Cody mod took home 82%, which I think is a record high percentage. The Lightsaber Pack took 6%, the Revenge of the Sith PJs took 4%, Ram Kota took 3%, and Bespin Luke took 2%. Next up are the honourable mentions for this week, and the first honourable mention is Darth Jar Jar from the Asian Redneck. So, this replaces Palpatine with a deformed Jar Jar. It's not perfect, but it's just a funny mod. A lot of people would like to see this. This is a famous meme in the Star Wars community, and I just thought it would be a really funny mod to share with you guys. The next honourable mention is the TIE Striker mod from Stallion, and this takes the model as seen in the Scarif map and puts it over the TIE Fighter. So, it's not perfect, you can see some issues on the mesh, I think, going wrong with the TIE Fighter and TIE Striker, but if you want to use this, then this is the mod for you. The top 5 countdown is now here, and in 5th place this week, I have another Starfighter mod, and it is the Rise of Skywalker Resistance A-Wing from Rupture 13. So this replaces the default skin of the Resistance A-Wing in-game to be a version that we see in the Rise of Skywalker. A lot of the marketing included this version of the A-Wing, we even had a Lego set labelled Snaps A-Wing, and I really do like this skin, it looks pretty awesome, and it does include a custom UI portrait along with a custom star card image, which I really do like. In fourth place this week, I have the Mustafar Anakin mod from CR Mods. So this changes the model of Anakin's head to try and resemble the version he has when he is burned after the fight with Obi-Wan. It includes 4K textures, a custom hero portrait in the collection of Respawn menu, and the mesh itself is pretty well done, it's a good attempt, and it's pretty cool to use. In third place this week, I have the Captain Fordo mods from Hardhead CT77002. So this replaces the Art Trooper with Captain Fordo. It's very well done and it includes a custom UI portrait image as well, which looks fantastic. A side effect of using this mod is it does replace all of the skins with Captain Fordo, but if you want to play as Fordo, I don't think you will care. And yeah, I just really think this is one of the best Fordo mods we've seen. The runner-up in this top 5 Mods of the Week episode is the Commander Fox mod from Caleb2432 and Smug Chewbacca. So this replaces the Art Trooper as well with Commander Fox. To turn the Art Trooper into Commander Fox, they've imported custom meshes such as the visor, scanner, antenna and holsters. They look fantastic. There is also accurate weather textures designed to resemble what we see Captain Fox have in the Clone Wars TV show. There is also a ribbed leather bodysuit along with a chrome visor. There is also a custom hero portrait, which looks great. And the winner of this top 5 mods of the week episode is the Old Luke mod from Delana57. This I've showcased on my channel before, as it was in alpha, it was a work in progress. It was not finished, but Delana has now finished the mod and it looks fantastic. And I am gutted we will never get a dice made Old Luke mod, but this is the best we are going to get, and it's a good attempt really. It includes a custom head mesh, custom hair, and it does work pretty well. There is also a custom hand mesh, nanobuds, and that works well as well. There is also the custom clothes, and there is also a custom body mesh to make Luke Skywalker appear a little bit bigger, as he does in the sequel trilogy films. I'm so glad this mod is out now, so you guys can download it, along with all of the other mods 
There will be links to every single one of them down in the description below. And make sure you vote in the poll in the top right hand corner of the screen or down in the comment section below which mods were your favourites this week. Thank you so much for supporting the channel and this series. Make sure you do subscribe and turn notifications on so you don't miss any future mod videos from me. If you enjoyed this video, please do drop a like and please consider becoming a channel member to further support the channel if you would like to do so and get top five mods of the week episodes 24 hours before anybody else. Check out any of the two previous videos on the screen if you didn't miss them and I shall see you in my next Star Wars Battlefront 2 video. Goodbye.